If defective explosives are uh, noted by the blaster, then the blaster is obligated to remove them from service, notify the uh, mine manager and the mine inspector. The mine manager would then uh, notify uh, the uh, OHSC and the manufacturer. These defective explosives shall not be used and they uh, shall be uh, uh, disposed of in a safe manner consistent with the, uh, the manufacturer's recommendations. Uh, we're, we're standing in front of a, an incinerator that the mine has provided to the blasters. As federal explosives regulations uh, uh, don't allow the use of uh, explosives uh, boxes for any other purpose, the boxes uh, need to be destroyed and the mine has provided this incinerator for the safe disposal of, uh, of the explosives boxes. If a blaster notices a person committing a careless act with explosives, he is obligated under the code to report that careless act to the mine manager and the mine inspector. Uh, upon, upon notification, the mine manager will notify the mine inspector and the OHSC committee. Um, I, have, I have witnessed that uh, on occasion, uh, blasters who are maybe being perhaps a little bit lazy, uh, when they're walking around the pattern, placing the uh, primers at the holes, uh, instead of placing them down on the ground, they will throw them on uh, beside the collar of the hole, uh, toss them to the ground. That would be considered a careless act with explosives. Um, if you're walking around a blast pattern that's being tied in, if you step on, on uh, a, a, a tie-in line, then that would be considered a careless act with explosives. Uh, one of the really common ones is that uh, vehicles and machinery will inadvertently enter a uh, blast pattern uh, that is loaded and, and contains explosives. That would be also considered to be a careless act as well as a dangerous occurrence.